Good morning, players. So we've got to talk about this situation with this local news anchor out of Shreveport, Louisiana. So this is Bill Lund. He's a news anchor that worked for a local news station out of Shreveport, Louisiana called KTBS. So according to these three boys who describe themselves as predator hunters, they made a meet me profile for a fictitious 15 year old girl when Bill Lund reached out to the profile. Bill Lund begins allegedly communicating with what he believes is a 15-year-old girl. In fact, he asked, according to these boys, how old are you? And they say 15, and he continues to message, sending explicit photos, and then he eventually arranges to meet with what he believes is a 15-year-old girl. When he arrives, which he tells the, the fictitious 15-year-old girl that he's coming on his lunch break from KTBS, uh, these three boys pop out. Uh, Bill Lund, according to them, was completely shocked. Uh, he starts to move away and says, look, I have a wife and kids. And they say that they were completely shocked by him saying that. So then Bill Lund scurries back to the police station and he calls the police himself. So the police arrive on the scene According to the report, they spent about four hours and 21 minutes speaking with the boys, and Bill Lund was not arrested, but he did resign from KTBS. The boys said that they were shocked when they found out that it was Bill Lund. They actually did some research with the phone number that they were texting, and it led back to the phone number that Bill Lund had listed on his official KTBS profile. So now there has been a change of events because these two boys have been arrested for allegedly attacking a man. According to reports, the incident occurred on June 7th. Uh, officers arrived on the scene and they found a man suffering from injuries reportedly sustained during an altercation with two of these men. Terrio Grisby and Antonio Coleman, who are both 20 years old, were later arrested and charged with one count of second degree battery. The victim was taken to the hospital and is expected to recover. I'm wondering if this incident is tied to these two boys possibly uh, meeting up with someone who was attempting to uh, take advantage of a, uh, a young girl. Um, I think that is likely to be the case. I'm also wondering what is going on with this investigation into Bill Lund because he has not been arrested. He remains free. I'm wondering if the Shreveport Police Department turned this investigation over to um, the, the feds because he did use a mobile app to do so. And a lot of times those, those charges are, uh, are brought federally. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this situation plays out. If the arrest of these two boys is related to them trying to stop someone from taking advantage of a 15 year old girl. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that will be willing to help them. So I can't wait to hear more of the story. Um, as of right now, the two are still um, in custody. Uh, no bond has been set at this time. I don't think that they've seen a judge. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. Uh, again, I wanna know what's going on with the Bill Lund investigation. And I also wanna know, uh, was this related to them try, trying to uh, stop someone from uh, committing a heinous crime? All right, play, and the person probably deserved to get beat up. But y'all put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mo for the Blackstreet News.